Hello everyone, my name is Barry from Barry Kid Photography and today we have a rather lengthy little Photoshop tutorial video where we're going to use the LAV color space in Photoshop to bring out the best detail we can in images of the snow. Alright, now before we start, uh, two little points. This image, uh, this video will be uploaded to uh, YouTube as a full um, 1080p video so if you're watching it on a computer monitor and you'd like to see all the detail as we go along please feel free to watch the full 1080p version also the image here the example image of the little arctic fox here will also be uploaded to my website uh, for you to download and use that example to go along with the tutorial if you so desire and a link to that will be on my website um, below in the description below the video here all right Anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right. Now, snow. Snow can be difficult to photograph. It can be very difficult to photograph. And often, not always, but often when you do so, you get way too much contrast. All right. Now, this was shot as a 14-bit RAW file when I originally shot it. But, and I could, and since I use Lightroom or whatever RAW processor you prefer, you can take and use that to bring back the detail or alter the RAW file in whatever RAW processor you want. However, I've found that for me, uh, the LAB color space does amazing, does an amazing job at bringing out the detail, and that's what we're going to do here. Right? So, the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to go up here to Image. I'm going to duplicate this image so that we're not doing any destruction or doing anything weird to the uh, to the original file. You press Control Zero to bring that up and make it a little larger. All right, and then we're going to start the magic. All right. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image Mode and I am going to convert it to the LAB color space. All right. Once that is done, I'm going to press Control J as in Juliet on my keyboard to make a copy of the background layer and this is where we're going to make our first change for that I'm simply going to go to image apply all right now it goes to soft light since I've used soft light but by default it's going to go to multiply your first selection is going to be multiply but I'm going to use soft light all right now this does make it still even more contrasty but here over the uh, on the channel I'm going to click invert and presto that's where the real magic happens right it just brings out all of the detail in the snow and since the fox is snowy white himself you can see the detail in him you see all the little flakes of snow on him it's an inverted lab in an inverted well it's good it just it really really makes drastic results so I'm going to press OK or enter to apply those settings next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press control J one more time All right, make another copy of that and then I'm going to go back up to image and I'm going to go to adjustments and this time we're going to choose what we're going to choose we're going to choose shadows and highlights now real quick by default, this I have actually uh, changed the default settings since I use LAB color space a lot, and these are the numbers that I like to start with. All right, there's you can there's other options and a lot of different things you can use here, but for today's purpose and working with snow, the shadows and the highlights are all that I'm going to use. Now, real quick, once more, if you're using Photoshop version um, CS4 and below your amount on your shadows is going to be 50 right if you're using version cs5 cs6 or cc your shadows amount by default will be 35 all right and your highlights in all cases will be set to zero right uh, I believe I like 18 I like where it puts the image 18 is always a good starting place for me when working with LAB color space all right 
I also like to bump my highlights a little bit but in this particular image it brings out way too much detail in the fox the snow looks fantastic but in the fox himself it just brings out too much detail and he looks a little bit like some of that HDR nastiness all right so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reduce the highlights back to the original zero and I'm going to press OK or enter to apply those settings. All right. Now if you take a look, we're going to press Alt on my keyboard and click the eyeball for the background layer. This is what we started with and this is what we have now. All right. And that's the gist of the tutorial right there. There's a lot of other things that we can do to it. Obviously we can, uh, well, let's, let's go ahead and we're going to, this is this is where this is where it ends, but there's always other things you can do depending on the image on an image by image basis. Okay, so let's go here to image and what do we got to do? We don't know. We're gonna go to edit. We're gonna convert to profile. I'm gonna convert this from lab or lab color space to pro photo, which is uh, the color space that I prefer to work in. Right now we can. Uh, boost the contrast. One thing it did do, we brought in all the detail. It looks amazing. That photo is amazing, but it's kind of flattish. There's no real contrast. The image does look a little dead. So I'm going to give it some curves to boost the contrast. Now here today, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to increase the contrast with the default increase contrast thing. But since it's kind of harsh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reduce the opacity. Maybe back down into the 30s. We don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, there, just a little bit, just a wee little bit of change in the color or in the contrast, all right? Uh, we also, uh, where before in the original image, if we look over here, he looks demonic. He's got black eyes, very, very, very little detail in his eyes. Here we've taken and also brought out way too much specular highlight in the fox's eyes. And I would probably want to back that off a little bit, you know, take in... Um, bring up a curves layer and reduce the uh, reduce the darkness curves or a uh, or a levels layer and reduce some of this make it a little bit darker so that he doesn't look so completely freaked out way too much specular highlight in his eyes where here he had very little here he's got too much but that's another thing so but we're not going to go through all of that and all the stuff that we can do to make this image better the gist of the tutorial is how to make the snow look better and we've already done that and we do that in the two steps that I showed you in LAB color space anyway I'm gonna shut up y'all have a happy day and uh, y'all have a have an outstanding winner and I hope you get some decent shots this is Barry Kidd and I am out of here bye bye